Hello, I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man. We're at Dishume in Manchester for this month's real estate commercial roundtable event. Property professionals all meeting to discuss a whole range of events. Let's go in and see. Thomas Pearson is head of real estate commercial here at JMW Solicitors and explains a little bit about the event. We're going to have a conversation about the market, obviously prevalent, we've got the autumn statement coming up today, and it's really important for those people within the real estate sector um, to get together and come up with ideas and concepts of how we can move the market on, how we can help one another going forwards. So Thomas, you're involved in lots of property transactions. How do you see the market at the moment? Well, it's an interesting one, you know, having conversations with agents and contacts of ours. There has been some pressure on certain sectors. Unfortunately, some deals have fallen out of bed, but there's still a willingness to do deals. We've got a lot going through in the pipeline at the moment within the team, and it's just a case of facilitating again of those transactions for. People can see that there might be some pressure Q1, Q2 next year. As I said, the autumn statement will make a, an impact to that, but there's still a willingness and a desire to get stuff done, and there's a lot of liquidity in the market, and so there will be many more deals going forwards. Ian Scott is from the Martin Property Group and specialises in build to rent. So, Ian, what's the market like? The key thing in build to rent actually is separating the investment market from the occupational market. So, in the occupational market, the dynamics are really, really strong. Uh, I, I think it's well publicised now that rental growth has been pretty massive across the last two years in particular. Uh, and every scheme that gets delivered, particularly in the likes of Manchester, Birmingham, Bristol, uh, even the, the secondary, should we call them secondary, cities like Sheffield and Newcastle maybe, uh, every scheme that's delivered really does absorb really well. It's full within, you know, three, four, five months. And, um, and there's just a, a massive lack of supply for tenants. On the investment side, I suppose that's really now impacted by guilt rates increasing, the cost of capital increasing. So we're actually waiting just to see that settle uh, to a point where we understand where, where investor pricing is at more than anything and, and general sentiment. Uh, but it seems to us already actually that the the key here now is that the equity buyers, so all equity pension funds, are, have, have kind of stole the march in the market, the investment market, whereas any investors that previously would have taken debt um, debt facilities to, to execute their acquisitions, they've, they've now come out of the market. So it's an all equity market for the next, I'd say, the next 12 months or so. And Evan Griffin is from Pluto Finance. We're incredibly busy, um, so we're, we've been going, you know, 12 years. We've we've got very very stable funding partners. So from you know our perspective, how we're seeing the market is we are incredibly busy because other funders have, have, have pulled away, have cut their leverage, whereas we've stayed you know, reasonably stable. So we're seeing deals that we perhaps wouldn't have seen before. What I would say is the mix between you know bridging deals where there is an incumbent lender who needs to be refinanced and the development finance side, the mix has shifted towards bridging because you know responsible developers are, are waiting and seeing what ha what's happening with you know with, with labor with materials with interest rates and what knock-on effects that will have on people's ability to get, to get mortgages and andrew newton is from aaron architecture yeah we're finding at the moment that certainly um, across the uh, so certainly the, the luxury residential and the high residential that um, there has been a, a very slight slowdown on that however we are finding that other sectors are remaining and actually um, we're, we're seeing increased leads in those other areas actually. So it's more, I'd say, the, the residential side that has that is certainly slowed down. I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man.